Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Top 5 Tuesday. The big JD back with you, and with Canada Day right around the corner, it got me thinking, what has Canada produced a lot of over the years? And the answer to that is funny people. So today we're going to take a look at my top five favorite Canadian comedians. We know how to make them funny north of the 49th. Plenty of great comic talents have called the Great White North home, but here are my top five. At number five on my list, Lauren Elliott out of Montreal. Now a longtime host of the CBC radio program, Madly Off in All Directions, Lauren is an expert storyteller, a great humorist, and an incredible musician. One of my favorite novelty songs of all time is Lauren Elliott. Tonight's the night we're going to get Granny plastered. He comes in at number five. At number four on my list, I've got Mike Myers. Now, Mike, a king of character work, and we saw it starting in Canada. Uh, actually, as a child, appeared on an episode of King of Kensington, then appeared in the show Range Rider and the Calgary Kid. He played himself in an episode of The Littlest Hobo back in the 70s. Uh, he was a great child actor on Canadian television, but it morphed into an incredible young comedian. He took his talents down to Saturday Night Live, where he created some very memorable characters. And in the film work, you take a look at some of those successful ones from Austin Powers and Wayne world to Shrek. Mike Myers has been keeping people laughing for over 30 years and he continues to this day. Mike Myers, he comes in at number four. At number three, it is the cast of The Red Green Show, a show that I could watch anytime. Created by Steve Smith and Rick Green, the characters around Possum Lodge, absolutely incredible. Patrick McKenna joining the show as Red Green's quirky nephew, Harold. A whole different element of comedy to this one. Just a whole lot of fun, kind of takeoffs of do-it-yourself home improvement shows, uh, great sitcom elements, sketch comedy elements, and just a slew of great actors over the years who have portrayed the members of Possum Lodge. The Red Green Show, their cast comes in at number three. At number two, Jared Kiso, Nathan Dales, Jacob Tierney, K. Trevor Wilson, the amazing cast of Letter Kenny, a show that has really taken off in the last five or six years. You take a look at just how successful the show has been, and that is because it manages to capture Canadian small town living in a foul mouthed and funny way. These guys are absolutely phenomenal. The writing on this show, so good, so quick, so tight, so many jokes crammed into such a short amount of time, and it has really caught on. And not only Letter Kenny, but the great spin offs like Shorzy as well. Jared Kiso, so a magic man behind the camera and in front. So the cast of Letter Kenny comes in at number two for me. At number one for me, though, when it comes to Canadian comedy, it begins and ends with the legendary SCTV cast from the mid-70s. Talk about legends going through one sketch comedy show. You've got Martin Short, Dave Thomas, Rick Moranis, Catherine O'Hara, Eugene Levy, John Candy, Joe Flaherty. So many greats made their name on SCTV and went on to absolutely legendary careers. Plus, without SCTV, we don't have Bob and Doug McKenzie, two of the greatest Canadian comic creations of all time. So the cast of SCTV... They come in at number one. Let me know who you think are the funniest folks to ever make their living in the comedy world to come from Canada in the comments below. And we'll be back again with a brand new edition of Top 5 Tuesday. Have a great day.